friends, I'm back again today with a fun project that you guys get to do at home. All you need today is an old CD or DVD that maybe your parents don't need anymore. And another cool tool to have today would be some bubble wrap. So if you can ha find those two items, we are gonna have some fun with them. So here we go. I'm gonna move you down. So you're a little bit closer. We are going to make this awesome underwater scene using some fun printmaking techniques. So I did a little jellyfish and a fish and did some coral and water and sand in my background. So we are gonna start with the background so it has a little bit of time to dry. This is where your bubble wrap comes into play. So I just took a piece and I cut it into some small squares. You want to take the bubbly side, so not the smooth side, but the bubbly side, and put that on top. I like to use a paintbrush so I don't get too, too much on there, and I can kind of evenly get it on there. Sometimes if you stick the whole piece of bubble wrap in the paint, it just gets a little too messy, and you won't get that cool bubble-looking like effect. So I just painted it. I'm going to pick it up, and I'm going to stamp it. And I can do it three or four times before I have to add more paint. So again, just painting, putting it down, and stamping to get that kind of bubbly looking like water effect. Now, you're gonna do that first and let it dry. I'm gonna move mine over, and then I'm gonna also work on the bottom while I have it down here. You need some um, scraps of construction paper. So I like to have all colors, just any kind of scraps that you might find of colored paper. And instead of using scissors, I'm gonna tear it to kind of look more like sandy and rough so I get those little textures. And at home, I would just kind of fill the bottom of my page all the way. Some pieces could be really big, some could be really small. And you're just gonna glue them on the bottom of your page, just like I did. Now I took another piece of bubble wrap and used a different color to give that little bit of light, sandy looking tone and I bubble wrapped on top of my textured um, sand to kind of give it that feel. So you could go ahead and do that too, or you could use markers or some kind of um, crayon to give that texture too if you wanted to use a different color on top of the brown. So I'm gonna set my background down since we already have a finished one to look at, but that's how you would get started on just your background. That way the bubble wrap can be drying, the bubbles that you made while we're working on the print. So the next part is gonna be this cool print making effect you're gonna do with a CD or a DVD. You're gonna take your CD or DVD, you're gonna pick another color of paint. I like to use a brush to do this again. Now, the thing with the um, CD is you have to work really, really quick because the paint will dry super fast. So you need to have a paintbrush, your paint you're gonna use, and then a Q-tip as well. And then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna use the Q-tip. So first I'm gonna paint my <clears throat> base layer on. It's gonna feel kind of strange since we usually are watching movies on these to go ahead and paint it. But as long as it's an old one and you don't need it anymore, it becomes the perfect art tool. So I don't have a super thick layer on here, just kind of a thin base. And this is where I mean you have to work quick. We're gonna use that Q-tip. And I'm just gonna remove some of that paint by adding some cool lines, <clears throat> designs, and textures. But again, the key is to work nice and quick. Then I'm gonna take a piece of white paper that I have and I'm gonna stick it down and I'm gonna stamp it. So stamp, stamp, stamp. I'm gonna lift it up and I'm gonna show you that cool design that the CD left behind. So it's kind of that cool printmaking technique. You never know how it's gonna turn out, so play around with it. <clears throat> the easy thing with this is you just wash it off and you get to do it all over again, as many as you want. You could make a whole art project with just doing these in different colors and filling a paper with cool prints. You could also turn these into flowers or something else. But since we're sticking with our spring break theme this week, I went ahead and made mine into a fish and a jellyfish. 
So I waited for them to dry and then I cut them out in that circle-y shape. And then I just used my other pieces of construction paper and I cut out fins and lips and eyes. And then for my jellyfish, I kind of cut out strips of paper and I just kind of curled them, rolled them up a little bit and stuck them at the bottom. I added some seaweed and I added some shells. It's kind of limitless what you want to add to your underwater sea. <clears throat> but grab that CD, <clears throat> have so much fun. I would love to see what you come up with. And even if it's not an underwater scene, I would love to see um, your finished project. Just the fun things that you did with just that CD and Q-tip. It's super fun, you can make some cool shapes. So I hope you enjoyed today's project. I'll see you again soon.